This is summer, this is the perfect time to go on vacation, but to me, summer also means it's a perfect time to learn new stuff. And this year, I decided to tackle something I wanted to do for a long time now, which is learning the different Python APIs we do have in the Substance 3D ecosystem. So if you don't know what is an API, well, uh, this is um, the functionality of our tools which are exposed so they can be accessed by code. So you may say, okay, I'm not a coder, I, I, I don't need it, and maybe you don't, but it allows you to do a lot of stuff, which means that, for example, in my case, I played with the Substance 3D Painter API, I, sorry, to create a tool uh, that will allow you to create some shortcuts to create layers. For example, you will be able to use Control F to create a fill layer, Control P to create a paint layer, Control M to have the mask, etc. So these are easy ways uh, to do that, but you can make some stuff which are more advanced. So this was my project, and in further tutorials, I will explain how to build your own uh, scripts and plugins for Substance 3D Painter. But today, I just want to present this tool that I made. So let me share my screen first. Um, Go on github.com. So what is GitHub? This is a, a website where there is like thousands and thousands of projects like this, like which are code projects with a structure, etc. Uh, it's really easy to share with people who are interested by your project and also to maintain because if I do update here and you are you can follow my project for, for example and you will be able to get the new version allows you also to make some package etc so this is definitely uh, developer oriented but still as we, uh, I want to develop tools for substance 3 painter and some of you may want to do that as well that can be useful so I'm going to put the link on the description of course below my github that I just created yesterday I'm really freshly new to that is called github.com slash cgbini obviously and then you have one repository uh, which is uh, VG Painter Utilities. As you can see, my I just started yesterday so I don't have a lot of activity of course. So if I go here, you will go to my project which is the plugin I made. So first thing first, you see that there is a, the readme and the MIT license which are here. So you, you can look at that, it allows you basically you can use it for free for whatever you want. This is uh, really permissive license so it's free just enjoy it um, and if you look you have the details you can browse the content if you want but if you want to use it directly what you can do is go to the release and you see that there is one tag here so if you click on it we'll go to the version i put as you see right right now i put uh, version 0.1 alpha because i'm developing it i want to get some feedback uh, from you, so if you see some bugs, some stuff that don't work, work, I'm obviously interested. But let's see how to install it. So just click on it, and you will have the details of the purge version. Please provide feedback, blah blah blah. Uh, you see here uh, how to activate it, how to install. Um, yeah, you will have to install it here, and we are going to do it together. And if you go here in the readme you see how it works so once installed what it will activate if everything goes well is our this shortcut so Control p will make a new paint layer Control f a new fill layer with just the base color activated why um, because it's faster and uh, if you have like hundreds of uh, of layers, uh, if you have, have just the base color, it can save a lot of time. This was actually a request for one, one of my friends uh, uh, in the VFX industry. Um, I don't know if I can say his name, so I won't. And uh, Louis Muller told me that, oh, that's great, but it would be great also to have a fill layer with just the height activated. So I made another one. As you can see, they are classified by type and by letter. For example, for the paint layer, activity you have the uh, new paint layer here it's the letter is p for the p layer the shortcuts are, are based with the f uh, key so you have control f control alt f and control shift f for a new field layer with all channel activity because you may want that as well of course then um, i added to create some mask 
So you have the Ctrl M, which will add a mask to the selected layers. And yes, it works with multiple channels. And if uh, there is no mask, it will add a black mask. And if there is a mask already, it will pass from black mask to white mask or from white mask to black mask. Uh, at the moment, it works this way. Uh, something that I may improve in the future is to invert everything, meaning that if there is already content that it allows uh, to invert everything. But right now, it's just goes from black to white and white to black. Uh, if you do Control Shift M, it adds a, a mask with uh, an ambient occlusion generator. Once again, an idea from Louis Melin. And you have the same Control Alt M with a black mask with curvature generator. I have one person reporting me in particular that this one didn't work on her uh, workstation. So I'm curious to know. Once again, right now it's in be alpha, beta. It works. It works great. Uh -huh. As a developer loves to say, it works great on my machine, but I'm curious to see how it works on yours. And now if you go below, you have like the source code. So you have a zip file if you are uh, the most common. If you are on Linux, you have the, the tar GZ. But I'm going to download the zip file. And on this PC, I didn't test it yet. I developed it on a, a PC, so it may crash in direct. In that case, I will cut and make with something that works. But you see, I'm going to download in my download files. The file is called VG Painter Utility 0.1.0 alpha.zip. Saving it. It's not heavy at all. And I'm opening it. So if I'm opening it right now, I have this file, which are uh, interesting me, and the readme file and the license file. So this, if you open, it will tell you that you have uh, to uh, let me share that here uh, you have to extract it at this location which is the default one uh, let me just do like this control C and I'm going to open oops uh, okay I'm going to navigate by hand document if you go to a document Adobe Substance 3D Painter, 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 where it is. Okay, here. See that I tried some beta sometimes. Uh, painter is here. You have the Python file, and here you see that you already have models and plugins. So what I'm going to do is dragging, drag and dropping here. And some people say, oh, well, that's scary because it will replace. No, it won't replace them. What it does, it uh, with everything that is inside. Of course, if there is a conflict, for example, if you have the previous version, it will ask you, oh, there is this file which already exists. What do you want to do? If it's a new version, you can overwrite it. Um, uh, I named them in a way that uh, you say it's VG underscore, so I don't think anyone else would do that. So now it's install, install. So you have VG shortcut launcher, which will manage uh, which will create the shortcuts, the keyboard shortcuts on LinkedIn to the modules uh, which are there. Once again, I, I would explain, I have a module which is like a collection of uh, functions and functionalities. So that's where they are called. I did it, I separated the fact to install launcher to the feature themselves, just because it's way more flexible in the future if I want to add more stuff on it. So let's see now how it looks within Substance Relief Painter. Once again, first time I am trying it with it, um, may have some bugs. And once again, it's not perfect at all at the moment, but it it's quite cool. So you have the UI, um, you go to Python here, you see that I have your Python model and you see that no, it, it has been detected at least. You have the VG shortcut launcher here. So what I'm going to do, I, you have a, I have a bunch of other ones that I made to test the Hello plugin because I was learning and this one as, as well. And what I'm going to do now is just to show you the log file uh, to see what happens. The so views uh, and I have the log files here. Um, and let me see. Okay, clear. I'm going to clear that. I'm putting the log file here and I'm going to launch this one. VG shortcut launcher. And you see that by default, uh, it, uh, I put some text so it reminds you which shortcuts are available. 
So you have like new paint layer, new fill layer, etc. That's what we have seen. So it means that I have no errors. It seems to have worked. So these uh, shortcuts are functional, uh, although they are not useful at the moment because I don't have anything. So let's open a sample uh, and mat as always. And let's see how it works. So first I'm going, I have my layer by default that I'm going to delete. And I'm going to do Control F because if you remember, Control F is new fill layer with base color activated. Whoa. So Control F and it works. Wow, I'm happy. <laughs> Uh, because once again, it's it's really live. Uh, I'm not cheating on this one. Control F, new fill layers. And if you look, there is just the base color. If I do right now, Control Alt F, Control Alt F, new uh, height fill layer. Control Shift F, new fill layer with everything activated. So that works perfectly. If I do right now, Control P, just to see, I'm just going to put this one, new fill layer. I'm going to go to the color and let put something to see what happened. I'm going to do Control P and I have my new paint layer, which was great. I can paint on it. And now let's see with the mask. So if I do Control M, you see that it add a black layer on top of it. And if I do Control M again, now it goes to white. And something that I want to, um, to say to the team, it does not refresh automatically. So that's something we, we have to enter. But that being said, you see that you can go from black to white and invert the mask really quickly. Uh, if I do control, uh, so let's do control. Uh, let's delete this mask right now, or let's delete this. And here I'm going to do control alt M. And you see that you have a fill layer with the curvature activated. And right now, if I do control, uh, I think control shift M, it does the ambient occlusion and you see that it's additive so tell me if it's something if you prefer that it's not i don't see any problem about it but, but uh, yeah it works well what i want to do in the future if i if i do control e maybe or or control m again that it inverts everything that's uh, something that has been requested right now it creates a new layer and well that's it for this video i hope it has been useful um, that's how it works. Don't hesitate to download it. It's free, uh, no constraint about it. You can take the code, play with it, uh, see if you understand everything. Anyhow, I will prepare a series of tutorials about it so you can create your first uh, scripts. I don't know if we will build everything we, ha we have seen here, but we will try to build some stuff and then we'll go to designer, sampler, etc. Thanks for watching. I hope you like this video. Download the tool, share with your friends, give me some feedback. Tell me if you want more tools like this one, if it's useful. If you have ideas of tools as well, I'm more than uh, pleased to grab some ideas. Thanks again and see you in the next video. Ciao.